could a seemingly unending conflict find resolution in the most unexpected of places? The intricate dance of diplomacy and war is a delicate balance, one that has been tested time and again in the Middle East, particularly between the nations of Israel and Lebanon. The tale begins in the summer of 2022, when the gas-rich Karish field in the eastern Mediterranean Sea became a contentious issue. Lebanon and Israel found themselves locked in indirect talks to settle a border dispute, prompted by Lebanon's revised claim to include an additional 1,400 square kilometers. With Lebanon in dire need of new revenue sources and Israel keen on establishing itself as a natural gas supplier to Europe, the stakes were high. The following year, in February of 2023, Israel found itself navigating a different diplomatic landscape. The friendly rapport between Israeli leadership and Russian President Vladimir Putin began to dwindle. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, having returned to office after Russia's invasion of Ukraine, started re-evaluating Israel's policy on the Ukraine war. The shifting circumstances, including Russia diluting its forces in Syria, presented an opportunity for Israel to supply defense systems to Ukraine. In October of 2022, a breakthrough seemed to appear on the horizon. Lebanon and Israel, two countries with a history of conflict, reached a US-mediated agreement to end their maritime boundary dispute. This opened the path for offshore oil and gas exploration, diffusing a potential source of conflict. Yet, while diplomatic progress was being made, Israel found itself in a state of war. Reports of continued fighting between the Israeli military and Hamas infiltrators, air raid alarms near the border with Lebanon, and the looming threat of Hezbollah painted a grim picture. The prospect of a two-front war was Israel's strategic nightmare. The Israeli military, a powerful force capable of driving Hamas back, was under scrutiny. The country's prestigious military and intelligence establishment despite being lavishly funded, seemed unable to prevent a catastrophe. The echoes of history were loud and clear, with comparisons being drawn to the War of October 1973, when Egypt and Syria launched a surprise attack. The same accusations of hubris and complacency that were thrown at Prime Minister Golda Meir were now being aimed at Benjamin Netanyahu. Yet, despite the turmoil, the citizens of Israel rallied behind their flag. The shock of the Hamas attack had a unifying effect, with Israelis of all political persuasions standing together against a common enemy. As we look to the future, the question remains, can diplomatic progress and military action coexist? Can peace be found amidst the chaos? Stay informed, stay alert, engage with the world around you and keep the conversation going. The path to resolution is not always clear, but with understanding and engagement we can navigate it together.